Right, so good evening everybody. This is Michelle Fontonda and for those of you who don't know me, I have a PhD in leadership and management and I'm passionate about network marketing. I'm a network marketing professional. I have been um, started in the network marketing profession since 2010, so been here for nine years. Um, have been at different companies, so I have learned a lot as I've gone around the block. And um, so tonight is Monday, the 4th of November. Can you believe it, guys, that we're already in November and we're rocking it around the corner to Christmas? And um, the Christmas beetles are already attacking me in my office because I leave the, the door open so my Yorkies can go in and out and I've been attacked tonight by, by, by them. So I'm not too happy about these Christmas beetles. Um, okay, so I want to know from you guys, the, the topic this evening is um, the fortune is in the follow-up now who would who is battling with the follow-up who would like to ask a question about the follow-up and um janine are you just saying hi with your hand lifted up or do you want to ask a question um about the follow-up so let's see only i can unmute you <laughs> okay that's not working i've just like really blocked you all and more blocked you okay so let's just go <laughs> go with um okay let's see if i can uh, janine i've unmuted you oh, sorry i was just saying hello okay cool how's it <laughs> I'm hello. <using> <laughs> okay and now my google's talking to me on this side here as well okay so i'm killing hawk was left right and center guys this is not a really good thank goodness this is um just back to basics it's Okay, great. Now, guys, who is having a problem with closing people, following up on people, um, that kind of thing? Melanie from Durban. Hi there. Good to see you. Awesome. You're doing some great things there on Instagram. And um, I'd also love to know how many of you were actually on the, the call with regards to Instagram at, um, this afternoon with Ken Braff. It was really good. Really, really good stuff. Good stuff coming through there as well. Okay, so everybody's saying hi. Yogi was definitely there. I know Yogi, he was great. It was really fantastic, Jan, wasn't it? It was absolutely awesome. Okay, who's got a question about the follow up? Who's got a question about um, your struggles? I only got on near the end, Melanie, right? <laughs> but it was a good session. I'm sure the recording will come out very soon. There's something, well, I suppose the end part was actually the most exciting part with all the special offers and helping us all become these um, social media online fanatics that are going to change the world hey <laughs> i love it natalie hi nat how are you doing good to, to have you all here okay nobody's got a question you just want me to hit it you so please explain the shoes doc <laughs> i love shoes every woman should have a shoe fund okay every woman should have a shoe fund that's why i post the shoes on instagram and ask you and um you won't believe it i've actually closed two people onto to master influencer just because of my shoes and um, put them into my business so there we go all right just teaching women how to every woman's got to have a shoe fund and i'll teach you how to make a shoe fund <laughs> or to create a shoe fund so there we go Okay, just teach us how to follow up, please, oh, Yogi. All right, so you just want me to get, like, jump in and get going. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump in and get going. But if you have questions, please either raise your hand and let me unmute you so you can actually ask the question, clarify. If you've got something, all you guys have been on this um, in network marketing for longer than me and as long as me, please, please, please put your hands up. And... Um, it's so exciting to see Lindy McCartney's face there. Lindy, it's so nice to have Susie landing, landing soon. So, great. Melanie, you have questions. So, do you want to start with a question or do you want us to... Let me, I've unmuted you, Melanie. Go for it. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> How's it, everyone? My, so, one of my questions is doing the three-way calls as well and the prep before the time. Okay, so I've really started getting a little bit more into it now. So I get the guys, I tell them when I'm going to phone, I phone them up. But it's prepping the three-way call person mm -hmm. to know who's coming. Because sometimes they'll say to you, okay, call me at half past five. Then you phone at half past five and they're not interested or they're not answering. But you also don't know what time is good for your three-way call. And you don't want to just blast something off to somebody and say, oh, hello, I've got so-and-so on the line. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Nice. That's Very good so question. Awesome. Brilliant. So let's start with that nugget. Um, I'm going to mute you. There we go. Let's start with that nugget. Okay. So 
So three-way calls, most people are not used to three-way calls. So it's a whole education process that we're, because most people have just learned to use their own cell phones, all right? And, and they're learning to use Facebook and they're learning to now use WhatsApp and now Telegram. So we, we're, we're expanding a lot of people's um, brains and most people are petrified of three-way calls because they don't know what to expect, okay? So the most important thing, um, when setting up the three-way call is those questions that you can ask when they get off, when they've watched the video and you're asking them back. That's the point when you're setting them up for the three-way call. So if I had you on the phone and I was going to set you up on a three-way call with Jan, Janet Cade, so I would phone you and say, hey Mel, so from what you've seen on the video so far, what do you like best? You're going to tell me, do you have any questions? Because if you're anything like me, um, I found it very interesting, but I had a lot of questions and I love to do my research. Wouldn't you agree with me that research is a really cool thing? Okay, so there, you're even nodding. You see, I've nodded my head because I'm seeing you and you already nodded in agreement to me. So guys, that's your tool, eh? Nod, always nod, smile and nod, okay? And then I would say to you, you know what? Um, so you obviously got some questions. What questions do you have? You would ask me a question. And then I would say to you, if that question was answered, would you have another question? Okay. Sorry, that was me throwing a beetle across the room. Then um, if then I'd say, right, then I'd say, yes, I'd have another question. Great. What's your other question? They'd ask that question and you say, fantastic. If that question was answered, would you have another question? So now you know they've got two definite questions. All right very seldom they'll go for a third question okay or they'll just give you one say fantastic you know what i'm not the one that actually could answer that question the best you know what i'd love to do i've got a lady by the name of janet cade who actually's had great experience and the same thing happened to her um with regards to i would love now listen i don't know i can't promise you that we can get her on the phone but i'd love you to chat to her and you know why i want you to do that is because i don't want to come across as a salesperson to you i really want you to do your, your research and i don't want to be your full research package so could we get on a call how it's going to work is we're going to find a time that's suitable for her and for you I'll get you both onto a call at the same time. I'm going to stay on the phone call. I'm going to introduce you to you guys, to each other. And I want you to ask a question. You know what? I'm going to learn a lot from that as well. You see, now you become vulnerable. Do you know the answer? Absolutely. Absolutely, you do know the answer. But if you say, but if you say, listen, I'm going to learn a lot. And I would, I would appreciate the three-way call because that way we can both learn together. And I would, I would respect that. You see, you're putting yourself in, in, in the situation where you're actually now vulnerable to say, hey, you know what, I could learn from this. And if you do this for me, we could both learn together. Okay. Because you're teaching them how they're going to do a three-way call later on as well. So I hope that answers your... And most times when you do that, um, you get a person onto a three-way call. Listen, I've had this last week, Andrew Eaton's had me on two three-way calls. So please, Andrew Eaton still does three-way calls as well. All right. So this has been recorded, so I'll definitely give it to you, but three-way calls is a tough one. Okay. And also sometimes we rush into three-way calls too quickly as well. Let's unmute you, Mel. Yes, go for it. Okay, so question. So if you've done that, you don't then just pick up the phone and connect the three-way call person immediately, that they don't know anything about this, or do you then phone them back and say, I can speak to Dr. Michelle at eight o'clock will you be free then absolutely so that's the, yeah hundred percent because then i'd say listen here you know mel let me just find out if if she's available if she if she can jump onto a call with us look i can't promise anything because i know she's so busy um but hey it's worth a try i'd love to connect if it doesn't we'll i'll do my best to answer your questions but i'd love to try if i had to get her on a call what time suits you okay Okay, if I had to, to, or another another nice way is that, look, um, I heard her saying the other day that she's either available on Tuesday at 3 or Monday at 2. If I had to peg her, which of the two suit you? And then you give them an option of two times because most people don't like to be told one time. They like to choose um, and like to be in control of the conversation. 
Um, so as a strong woman, I find that I mess this up a lot, <laughs> okay, because I jump in very quickly and say, you know what, I think we should get so-and-so on the call, and I'm like, ah, do you want to be right, Michelle, or do you want to be rich? Okay, which one is it? Let's get, let's, let's do this properly, and then I'm going to say, you know what, let me first check and see if Andrew's available or whoever it is, so yeah, but yes, and then I'd phone Jan and say, Jan, what time suits you, and then what I'll do is, um, how I look quite a lot with my team as well is, uh, especially if it's an upline, I'll say, um, if it's if it's with Andrew, I automatically immediately do a three-way WhatsApp, okay, um, as well, so that everyone's in the conversation at the same time, so they know that I, that it's it's a real conversation I'm having. If it's my downline, I do the same thing um, with them as well. If it was if Jan's personal, Jan would have done the same thing um, with me, or if Susie and Kate Town's doing it because she wants us to to lock in as well. So sometimes it's three-way, because sometimes you can say, hey, you know what? If they're scared of it, then you, then jump onto it. Bruce. Bruce taught us this very well, and that's just create that three-way WhatsApp. I know Brendan does that a lot as well as the three-way WhatsApps, um, and it takes the fear of the face-to-face -face phone call, um, that kind of thing, and then they just leave messages or say, look, you know, I'm not really worried, interested, that kind of thing. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Cool, man. Thank you. Excellent question. Okay. So follow up. Most of us, how's it, Mish and Eugene? Welcome, welcome. We've just been talking about the three-way pull-ups and I'm asking anybody if they've got any questions um, about that. So, um, how's it, Robert? Good to have you there as well on the on the video. Um, you can see everybody who's got good data, so I've got good videos. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so guys, most of us, and I want you to, I want you to know this, most of us are bad at follow-up. So please don't beat yourself over the head. Okay, and the reason being is because um, there's a stigma attached to salespeople following us up. Okay, and and we don't want to become that person. So there's a big fear um, that we're gonna be persistent or be like that car salesman that phones you like about the car and all the rest of it, and then you're gonna be rude to them. All right, so that's one of the reasons why we we all um, fear the actual follow up. But the, the fortune is in the follow-up. So important principles that we need to, to remember. There's a few important pr uh, principles that we need to, to realize is that the first thing in follow-up, the first thing, the number one thing is, Eugene, are you going to type on me? Number one, <laughs> get Eugene going. Thanks. Thank you. Then I can just focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> Okay, the first principle. So there's important principles that, that if we, and this is stuff I've learned from Eric Worre. I have m practiced from Eric Worre. I've rewatched and rewatched and rewatched his videos on the fortunes and the follow up, and I stick to them as well. The first one is be patient. Okay, be patient with a sense of urgency. Okay, there's a big difference between being urgent and desperate, okay, than being having a sense of urgency, all right, um, because there's a time frame that you take people through a process. Now, if you if you're open and honest up front when you take person through the process, um, if I've got somebody that's going to watch a video, I'm always talking about I'm going to take them on a research process. If they make a decision at the end of the process to say no, I will respect the no simply because I know that they know what they're saying no to. Okay, so I ask them, don't give up on me in the process. Let's do our due diligence. Um, somewhere along the line, I'm going to introduce you to people. And this could, I don't know how long the process is going to take you. Some people it takes two days. Some people it takes two weeks. Some people it takes three months. I don't know what your process is going to be, but let us journey on this together. Okay. So that's a very important thing to say. So it's be patient with a sense of urgency. Now, please know your business. Okay. Know your business. And you're going to know your business because people need multiple exposures to your business. Most people need four to six exposures to your business. So guys, if we're going in trying to close them on the first time, we're going to screw up and, that, and that's going to give network marketing a bad name. 
Okay, so number two is know your business because they need four to six exposures. So if you're very clever, you'll have a spreadsheet and on your spreadsheet, I'm just trying to see if I can find my spreadsheet. Uh, I have got it in my, my laptop bag. Um, a spreadsheet, okay, the, and the spreadsheet will say the name and I do the name and then I say, right, what is my first thing that I want to do? And I do it a lot on Trello. I use it a lot on Trello as well. First thing that I need to do is make contact with them, okay? The second thing, and you must work out what is your process, all right? So every team will have a different process. But we all know, guys, I know that if I wasn't on GBG, I wouldn't be able to follow a duplicatable process that I can actually take my teams through, okay? Because your first exposures are all there in day one to day two. Let's go to Eugene, unmute you. Right, you unmuted your cool. team. So, so you, I, I love that, Doc. So <clears throat> what people need to understand is, is that, that four to six exposures is the average. Yeah, okay? <laughs> thank it's you. Not that look at. So typically someone like myself and, and, and Michelle are the person that you, you do the first round with and we, we jump in, okay? So you're going to get the people that's going to go <laughs> not him no you, I, we know michelle michelle's the one you're the one who wants like two exposures at least <laughs> but twenty. but anyway so so what everyone needs to understand is is that that the four to six is the average so if you do get people that that jump in on on first um site do realize that most other people are going to go at exposure number 10 only correct so that's where it comes to the four to six it's an average Okay, don't go off the six say, oh, no, the guy's not interested in leaving. A yeah. lot of people just take more time. Yeah. And circumstances change. Okay, and these circumstances and then, change. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and then coming back to your, your first point, Mish, is be patient, is people need to understand we aren't salespeople. Yes. The only thing we're doing is, and I love it, Eric Warren says it so, so beautifully in his GoPro book. He says, our job is only to educate, educate. and be understanding. That's, a, that's, that's it. Job. That is it. And that's point number three. Okay. <laughs> Which okay, is, sorry. your goal is to educate and get understand and get understanding, help them to understand. So point number three is exactly that. Point three is, our goal is about education and clarification or understand, helping them to understand our process. It's not to close them. Guys, the fortunes and the follow-up. So let's think about our business. All right. So now my job is to, to educate. So if I know my goal is to take a person on an educational process and help the, and make sure that every point in time is to help them to understand what they've just been through in that process. So think about this. Let's type in some, some um, ways that we can expose our business to. All right, so anybody can type in ways that you can expose your business to. How, how do we expose our business to people? Okay, Vince, brilliant. At least we've got one person that knows. Well done, Melanie. Events, watch parties. Yes, nice one. Presentations, bums and seats. Sebastian, I love it. Yes, sitting, the bum must be sitting in the seat. Okay, not a ticket sold, bums and seats. Love it. <laughs> okay, all right. One-on-ones, guys. Online presentations, yes. One-on-ones, GBG link, our products, GBG, the monthlies, Keith. Ah, Keith all the way from Swallendam. How's it, Keith? Launches, yes. Okay. Um, what about your story? Okay, I have several prospects that have taken over three months, started as dream stealers, no... No, now our clients absolutely streaming streaming platforms love it home meetings absolutely home meetings um your story your story on facebook what how it's changed your life okay um luncheons breakfast set up these things so so you know uh, melanie you do ladies meetings you do coaching of women you know you have a separate breakfast for this kind of thing advertising um, these kind of things, conference calls, we've mentioned three-way calls, okay, product launches, um, training, articles, 
Okay, so there's so many ways that we can actually, so don't just get stuck because you've got to take a person on that educational process. So that's very important for us to, to remember that we cannot just give up. We need to make sure that we are taking them on that educational process because if we don't, then we, we're the ones that are going to do them a disservice. Okay, so your goal, guys, please, when you see your prospect and you start a conversation with your prospect, the whole objective is to educate them. Okay, so we're in the process of helping them to see something or we're in the process of helping them to see that, they, that investing in buying in gold is great and we're here to educate them on the compensation plan as well because we can't not do that, all right? Number four, okay, consistent posts on social media, absolutely one-on-one speed up, most definitely. So guys, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of, and lots of ways. Um, from these watch parties, I'm actually, I've, I've actually only done two watch parties from Andrew's watch party. Well, one was what, when we did here live. Again, then the other day was when I was on the top 10 call, I think Mish, you won, and Natalie and, and, and Andrew won. And I, I started the watch party in the middle of it because we were talking and I thought, oh, now's a good time. People should be stuck in traffic. From that watch party, I got over 60 new names, six zero. Okay, so I have over 120 names of people who have watched the watch party. Now the conversation starts, okay? It's not like, hey, do you want to buy gold? The conversation starts, all right? Because I now need to take them on an education process of what they started watching on the watch party. Okay, so if they close, they close. If they don't, I've educated them. Now they know how many times have we had people that have said, Two years later, 18 months later, hey, are you still doing that thing? What is it about? I see, you, I see you traveling all the time. Okay. So that's another one. Your social proof on social media. Make sure you're putting your pictures out there that you're enjoying yourself, doing things, date night, those kind of things. I get, I'm very bad at that. I need to actually up my game on that one. I had a date night on Friday night with my husband and I forgot to post it on social media. Hey, you had a date weekend and you didn't post it on social media. <laughs> Maybe you didn't want people to know where you were. All right. So while you're going through the exposure, guys, while you're educating people, remember these three things, okay? We need to make sure that it looks simple and we need to make sure that they think that, it, that they can do it themselves, okay? And that we're giving them an opportunity that it will work. Okay, so that we must make it look simple. Don't complicate things, okay? So always pointing them to a video or pointing them to come to an event and listen to other people and befriend them. I said something quite profound early on. Do you want to be rich or do you want to be right? Sometimes we want to be right at the expense of being uh, generating our wealth. Okay, so do you want to be rich or do you want to be right? Okay, so... Make sure that while we're educating them, we're not trying to close them. We're trying to make this process look simple and easy. All right. Now, guys, if you're coming from that place of desperation, you, you're going to be trying to close them on the first time. And you're also going to be um, pressurized by other people's sales. And you're really going to be um, put yourself into this bad and you're going to spiral down. Okay. My advice to you is do not measure your business on someone else's business one you have different customers you have a different profile you have different friends you can afford things differently you run in different circles guys but you can build a profile okay and you can build a business all right so number three number four is okay number four anybody want to ask a question or say anything before that or can i go yes Mish, go for it How about that? Let me see. Wait. Okay, you unmute. Wait, wait. I've typed in Yang. Yeah, you typed in? So unmute Yang. I've typed in while educating, make it look simple and easy so they can do it themselves. What was yep. your third point that you added on to that? And that they can see that it will work. Okay, Excellent. so it's simple, Thank you. easy. They can do it and they can see that it will work. Awesome. Cool. Did you hand that's over the second point number two? four? That's still under point four, yeah. Is uh, this number no, four? That, that is, no, that's still three. That's three. Okay. It's the top, the top three. 
<laughs> yeah, perfect. Awesome, cool. Point number four now. Okay, so point four is the biggest thing that you and I, I fear, and the reason why we don't do any of this is because we fear the questions and the objections. So number four is we fear questions and objections. Now, if you're taking them through an education process, you should look at the questions and objections as their interest in your product. Not them fighting you. Wow. So they, they say it's a pyramid scheme. I had one of those today. Oh my heavens. I'm like, really? Do you know that it's 2019? Like, honestly, like network marketing has been going forever. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Didn't you know that? So did I want to say all of that? Yes, I did. Okay. But I didn't. I thought that's an interesting question because I'm now on the educating and understanding and I'm on the follow up process and I, wow. So much, that's a very, very interesting um, perspective. Please help me understand from your perspective, what is a pyramid scheme? Then the secret to this, guys, this is the secret. Shut the F up. Okay. <laughs> Shut the F up. Say nothing, bite your tongue, sit on your hands. Look at the picture and wait for them to answer. Too much we're trying to explain what a pyramid scheme is. Don't. Guys, please don't. Ask them. So, what, from your perspective, what is a pyramid scheme? And then you... Zip it, Sebastian, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it. He, <laughs> love it, Janine. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Guys, he who speaks first loses. Okay. <laughs> All right. He who speaks loses. Okay. Now, Adrian, you're 100%. Once they tell you, then, I love that, Paula. L quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. Absolutely. Uh, Paul, sorry, not Paula. Oh, you've got a Paula now. Okay. Guys, exactly. Once they've answered you, <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Mish. That's exactly how I said it. <laughs> Once they answer you, it is exactly that. Gosh, you know what? I know exactly how you feel. I either you e don't lie to them. I felt the same way when, and then share your story. But you know what I found on doing my research and all the rest of it? Feel, felt, found. Okay. All right. So when you answer them, please don't belittle them or anything else like that. It's like, gosh, you know what? Now, if you don't have a story that relates, the same thing, the same thing goes back, then you must share another person's story. Okay, yes, Mish. You want to say anything, Mish? You good? Okay. So, so guys, the same thing. If Let's say, for example, I had never, ever had, a, like, a pyramid scheme never bothered me ever. It's like, really, it's like I'm over it. Okay. Then I would say something along the lines, gosh, you know, I, know it's, I actually can imagine how you must feel um, because... You know what, I, I, one of my friends, Michelle, gosh, you should have seen how she was ripped off in a Ponzi scheme. Gosh, it was absolutely terrible. But you know what she found? After she joined us and she came and she did her research with us. And you know what? I would love you to meet her. So now you see it. My neck, it opens me to my next deck, exposure. All right. Opens me to my next exposure. Do not justify it. Do not argue with them. All the rest of it. But use that platform to, to an, another exposure. Okay. Um, so use, use your questions and your objections as a, a gateway to continue the conversation. Don't try and such, shut a person down. Okay. So try not to shut them down. Don't worry if they say, but the gold price is, what is it to spot? I mean, I had that the other day. It's like, what is it to spot? I'm like, what is spot? 
like, and this guy like looked at me, he said, are you serious? You're selling gold, you don't know what spot is. I said, well, I had a dog called Spot, but I, no, I don't know what, what Spot. And so he says to me, are you serious? I said, don't you think we better get somebody who knows a little bit more about this on a telephone call? He said, mm, I'd actually like to know a little bit more. Great. Andrew, I got you on a telephone call. Okay, so that was my opening to a three-way call, Melanie. All right. It's like, you know, I'd better not speak to this dumb woman because she doesn't even know what spot is, okay? She's got a dog called spot, okay? <laughs> Did I know what spot price is? Of course I know what spot price is. But if I come across too intelligent, it's gonna, I'm going to intimidate. And my objection is, do I want to be rich or do I want to be right? Okay. I want to be rich through this process. So I don't need to be right. Okay. It doesn't matter if he thinks I'm a dumb blonde. As long as he signs up and he gets through the process. All right. So we can take him through the process. So guys, use your, so step four was your, please overcome your fear of objections. Um, because that is the most important thing for you to realize. Anybody want to say anything? Because I've gone through a lot of information. But Mish, thank you so much for typing it all out. This is the new form of PowerPoint, guys. It's called Michelle Typing. <laughs> Andrew Aracides, don't laugh. You would have been picked on there because Michelle is going to be late. If, otherwise, it would have been you typing. <laughs> or Jan. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Number five. This probably is so key. This is probably, I think, when Eric speaks, he speaks more on this one than anything else. That is number five. The only reason to have an exposure is to schedule the next exposure. So the only reason to have an exposure is to schedule the next exposure. Okay. And at all times, there's, there's a whole lot of things which I think we'll carry on with next week that you can test where they at as you're going through the, the, the process. Um, so can you please send me a recording? I have a webinar too. Okay. I, I will definitely upload the recordings, Lindy. No problem. Absolutely. Okay. So When you've got a person in the exposure, most of us, I'm sure you would agree with me, you're trying to think how you can close them, aren't you? When they're in front of you or you've got them at a webinar on something, you're, you're thinking, how do I close them? What must I say to close them? Change that to let me measure where they're at now and based on what they say, what is the next exposure that I expose them to my business? Because now it takes the pressure off you trying to close them. Now you're trying to work out how you're going to expose them to your business further. So Eric Warry says, if you end one exposure without setting up your person, you're lost. Absolutely. You've got to set the next appointment, guys. Have your diary with you and set the next appointment or know the next date or know when the next webinar is or whatever it might be. And always accommodate, always accommodate their schedule. Meet them where they're at. Because if you don't meet them where they're at, they're going to see you as trying to abuse and to use them as opposed to build a relationship with them. Okay. Please don't fight with people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try your best not to fight. Mel, do you want to say something? Let me unmute you. Okay, unmuted. Thanks, Doc. Um, so just a question. So if I've got people, they've watched the video, then they've gone to an event and I've introduced them to an upline and they've had a conversation. Now we've finished that conversation and they want to go like, okay, goodbye, I want to leave. What is my next exposure going to be to them? Okay, when can we set up a meeting to get started? Or when can we, you know, what is the, what is the next thing? Because you don't want them to wait for another week before another. No, you don't want to invite them to another what they've already seen. Yeah. And mine is, hey, Mel, thank you so much for coming this evening. I know you've got a rush. Now I will walk with you to the door. 
I will escort you to the door to, to help you say goodbye. And while you're walking there, so you feel important because I'm walking with you. And I would walk with you and say, hey, you know what, Mel, listen, I don't want to leave it, leave it here. But you know what, I would love to grab another cup of coffee with you and just go and just see where you're at and what, what you've seen, and what you'd like best about what you've seen tonight and, and the people that you've met and, and all the rest of it. So I'm going to give you a shout first thing tomorrow morning and let's see when we can grab that coffee date. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, and, and you see, then the pressure's off because you haven't said when you're going to get started. Um, you haven't said um, anything like that. All right. You can always, you know, you'll gauge your client. Okay. As you're going through the process, there are some, some key things on a scale of one to 10. Where are you? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how interested are you in the business? On a scale of one to 10, what do you like about, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how, how ready are you to get started? Okay. And if somebody says, no, um, oh, scale of one to 10, three, you know, most people are going to come in under five. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. I'm so, so glad you said that because that means you and I can grab another cup of coffee and I can go through everything and clarify it for you. Okay. Not, why, why, why three? I've given you all this information. Why are you not a 10? Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. I'm really so glad. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So that was number five. Um, now, when you're going through the process, guys, this is the art, all right? You know your product, all right? So this is under the same exposure to exposure. You actually know the journey you're taking them on. This is why you need to sit down and you need to list. I'm going to, uh, if I took a person on a journey, if somebody approached me, these are the things that I would like them to take me through, okay? Now, these are... It would be first interaction, it would be second interaction, third interaction, fourth interaction, right up to 10, 10 different things that you would take them through the journey. Now, you know, ultimately, you're going to get them to a close, all right, because this is, this is the journey, all right? But in that process, you're taking them on that whole education and understanding, and that journey, as, you, as I said, could be two weeks, it could be one day like Michelle, uh, you, Michelle at Bluff Note in, in an hour, it could be... <laughs> like Doc Ant in an hour. It could be like me. Now I've got to do a research. If you ask Philip Van Royen on here, um, I joined Carapaz in 2015 and it took me to 2019, four years to build a Carapaz business. Okay. Um, am I network marketing? <laughs> yes. But it, the product wasn't right for me at that time. Okay. So exposure, exposure, exposure. And if it wasn't for Natalie Harasidis and, my, and Andrew Harasidis who kept just sharing when when I asked the question they answered they never ever pushed anything down me they never ever told me anything um if I asked a question they would say hey yeah sure if I'd get on a call with Nat she would chat to me okay so I kept just asking these questions as we were going along then I'd ask one of my guys and um, what have you heard about carrot bars what have you heard this and then I test my team you know guys everybody's going through their own process so don't rush it but while you're going through them, you know where you're guiding them to. Don't let them guide you. Not math. <laughs> you know where you're guiding them through. All right. You know the process. You must know your steps. So I would much rather you spent the weekend um, just designing your process because there's a formula that each one, and you know what, each of our personalities is going to be different. Let me tell you what, um, Brendan Earp Jones has a process, okay, but he's, he's got a microwave process because of the clientele that he's, he's, he's going through, but he knows exactly what he's doing every day, and he knows what, where, what steps he's taking his people through. Um, Andrew, Andrew does, and guys, most of us have the process in GBG. We're just trying to close them in the process as opposed to educate them in the process. Okay, so let's take them through the educational process. Okay, point number six. Okay, point number six. All business, all business is just a conversation. You might hear Bruce Hughes say that a few times. All business is a conversation. So it doesn't matter if you are selling gold, it doesn't matter if you're selling shoes, it's about starting a conversation. <laughs> okay. 
all business is just a conversation. So have conversations with people. Don't have closing conversations with people and don't try and ask questions. The answer is always in the question. The answer that you want is always in the question. So if I want you to say yes, I'm going to ask you a question that will be a, you more than likely 80% yes and 20% and no that you would answer me, a yes, no question. Okay, so the answer's in the question. Always remember that. Okay. Number seven, keep the conversation going. Guys, don't leave people for too long. Keep conversations going. Okay. Doesn't matter what the conversation is. So let's say, for example, I was trying to recruit Ari, and Ari's, I've taken Ari through a process. He's, he's, um, we've had a chat, he's ex expressed an interest in, in, in gold, he's watched the videos, I've got him on a three-way call, he's been to a business presentation, he's come to a training, he still hasn't said um, yes. Now Ari goes on a holiday, all right? Now he goes off on a holiday, it's Christmas time, he's going on a holiday, he's going to go to, I'm speaking it over you, Ari, you're going to go to Bali for a month, and you're going to go on the boat, and you're going to scuba dive, and all the rest of it. Now, guys, if I want to keep the conversation going, I need to follow Ari on Facebook when he posts his pictures. I need to like his post and I need to comment on his post so that Ari keeps thinking about Michelle while he's on his holiday. Hopefully not when he's kissing his girlfriend, but he's going to think of me while he's on holiday, okay? But guys, when he comes back and he lands here, it's not going to be awkward for me to say, hey, how was your holiday? Now I need to talk about the business again. Okay, keep your conversations going. Be creative that you're in connection with the people that you're chatting to. Too many of us are jumping in too quick. And guys, if you start this, this fortune in the follow-up, if you start doing this now, you will sign people up come end of December, January. I'm telling you, if you follow these, these things and just say, okay, what is the exposure? How's... Remember, guys, people are coming up. They've got their Christmas bonuses now. They've, um, there's a lot of things that, that, that um, they can actually uh, afford to buy packages and things like that. Forget about the 15th of September, December and forget about all that. You're taking them on a journey. Okay. All right, so keep the conversations going. Um, the purpose is to get people to try something new. So just keep trying, just keep trying to get them to um, to see the next thing. Okay, guys, please don't be desperate in this in in the follow-ups. Okay, in the search for people up front, you you speed it up. You're going through the numbers. You got the numbers, but the moment you got a person in the system. Um, also, please always remember throughout this number number eight is be strategic, be very strategic about putting your people in front of the right people. Okay, so because part of your whole process is who am I going to put this person in front of? Okay, so guys, I'm a strong woman, I'm pretty forward, I say it as it is. Um, so if you had to bring me, please forgive me for this if you're on this, but if you had to bring me George, for example, let's choose George. If you, George is not on here, so I'm going to pick on George. A very strong Afrikaans male, okay? I'm your wrong first exposure. Get it? Okay, I'm the wrong first exposure. Your first exposure needs to be another Afrikaans male. Okay. Um... For, um, if it's, okay, if let's say it was Ari had a, a young friend the same as Ari, I could easily be his first exposure. They'll see me as a mother figure before they see me as a challenge. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. So, so guys, always think about who am I exposing my people to? All right. Um, so be strategic about who you put them in front of. Okay. Um, so, for example, another, another example of using it the other way around, strong businesswoman. You put a very strong businesswoman in front of Jacques Sasson, 
he's going to peel off. She says, I don't need this, uh, this egotistical nonsense in my life. Okay. It's not saying Jock, Jock is egotistical, but it's the way it's going to appear to her. All right. Do you see what I'm saying? So be strategic. You only have moments of exposures. All right. Again, please go and read a book um, if you can get it. Oh, Personality Plus by Francois Latoya. I think it's Francois Latoya. Don't ask me how to spell it much. You can Google that. <laughs> but, it's, but it's Personality Plus Francois Latoya. L-O-T something. Um, guys, that book is probably the best network marketing book that any person should have on their shelves because they talk about the different personalities and how you can approach them. So for example, when I talk with, with Jan, I must slow my pace down and talk, and, and talk a little bit softer. So when I speak to Mel, it's like, hey Mel, it's fine, because I know she's a strong, she's a strong businesswoman, she's outgoing, she's, you know what I'm saying? If there's a different tone to it, even when I go and visit Mish, Mish has, has got a lot of Jan in her. So even when I speak to Mish, it's like, hey Mish, how are you doing? I go, how's it Mish, what's up? You know, that's a different thing. Susie, you don't go, hey, Suze, how's it? What's up? I don't do that to Susie, all right? But I can go, hey, Mel, how's it? What's up? What you doing, girl? And she's like, oh, it's so cool. It's so, oh, it's so awesome to chat to you. Okay. But Susie and Jan and Mish, you don't do that to them. So, so that will help you a lot. So that's, that'll play a lot in who you put people in front of. Okay. So. From all these things, yes, person, lit, lit tower, there we go. It, it's like a litter, litter, not a lotter. <laughs> awesome, thank you, name of the book, there it is there. All right, guys, so there's your eight things that you now need to work through. Each of the next few weeks, we're going to cover more of this, and I hope to finish all of this fortune in the fallout before we hit December, because December is network marketing's biggest closing month. If you want to build a big business, do not think that people don't want to change their lives in December. Some of you know this. Anthony and I were looking and somebody asked us to go to a business presentation on the 24th of December at 7 o'clock in the evening. And Anthony and I joined Network Marketing on the 24th of December. So don't, you'd never know when someone's time is right. Had that person, in fact, um, um, it was the Amway business that I joined that, that many years ago in 2010. In fact, my, in October, my GP, who was also, Max, not Max, <laughs> sleep tight. Um, my GP in October is also got a massive, massive network marketing business. In the October 2010, his wife phoned me and said, would I be interested in, please could I come to a presentation? She'd like to share everything. She did everything right. I wasn't in the right place. She phoned me the first week in October, the 15th of October, Anthony's business partner, we discovered stole all our money from us and we, we almost lost everything. Then we didn't know what to do. November, we were shattered. December, we were like, okay, now how do we start 29, 2011 fired up and how do we change our lives? So the first person that came and said, come to a presentation. I'll, um, I'm going to help you to make some money. Just come and listen. I'm like, what is it? Don't worry, just come and listen. I said, is it network marketing? They said, I don't know. Just come and listen. And that was my introduction. Like there was nothing done right. But you know what? We were one of those people that were looking. So we first exposure, we signed up there and then, and then, and then we started after that. And then everybody went on holiday and they took my money. Like, hello. Then I never saw anybody until the 3rd of, December, of January. And I'm like, where's my package? Where's my stock? Why hasn't somebody spoken to me? There was no follow up because they went on holiday. So guys, you never know when this person's time. Personality plus. All right. Never assume. Just ask, hey, how are things going? How are things going? All right. Who would like to say a comment, type something there, add something? Robert, you want to say something? Okay, we unmuted you. Go for it. How's it, guys? Okay. Um, I have a question, and it's for the, the, the people that are doing more serious numbers. 
I am drowning in follow-ups at the moment. I mean, I'm hitting 20 new people a day, sometimes more, and you're talking about four to six exposures. I, 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 where, where, where the hell are we supposed to sleep and eat here? You're not. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, at the moment on WhatsApp, I've got like 200 conversations going on, and right now my follow-ups, I mean, I, I've had to quit. I, I, I normally gym twice a day. Because that, you know, I want to keep myself healthy. Don't smoke, don't drink. Right now, I've had to kill one session of gym. I'm now going to gym at a time in the morning. I've never even got out of bed at this time. <laughs> so I've now got 10 hours a day, and I just cannot manage. I, and I just, how do you guys do it? What do you, how do you manage this? Because it's, it's brilliant, yes, I've brilliant. got one meeting. I've got meetings happening like this. I've got meetings brilliant. happening. And one-on-ones are time killers. Yeah. But I'm yeah. doing it. But now I've got to the stage where when someone says, can I have a one-on-one? -on -one? I said, what package do you want? How much money you got? Oh, I've yes. only got 150 euro. Buddy, we're doing it online. I haven't got time to meet you. I'm only making 100%. 50 euro here. 100%. But I mean, I, it's yes. killing me. I mean, really, I'm just not getting a seat. So I'm going, I love it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm in all the way here. But I'm going, geez, how do I manage this? 100%. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. So brilliant question, guys. So when you get that momentum, you've got to, if you've got your ducks in a row and you know what, what you've got to do, exactly what Robert has said. It's like, okay, dude, like if it's a 150 euro package, I'm passing on to my downline to sign up. Um, I don't have time for this. But if you're like a, a 3,000 euro VIP, you're going to spend 150 euro. You're, hey, those are one-on-ones. So you, you now, now you've got, you know, you've created the momentum. The momentum is rolling. Okay. Now you can work on who you're going to expose. So part of your processes. So even the 150 euro, hey, sure. If you want to sign up, you meet me at Tuesday night, Wednesday night, whatever night it is. Um, or you know what? The best thing is I'm going to put you down. On, I mean, Andrew does it. I mean, he phones me, he says, hey, Bish, a lady in, in, in Pretoria. She wants a, she's going to come in a 150 euro package. Uh, put a down line of you. He still, it's her, still his personal, he still uses his link. I'm going to put a downline of you, please, and you guys sort it out. And I phone, I say, hey, I believe you're interested. Look, if you're really interested, you meet me at the presentation. I'll, um, I'm there an hour beforehand. That's where I do my training and coaching. I'll sign you up then. I'm like, no one, no, absolutely. So you, you, you've got to draw your line in, in the, in the potential of where you're going, um, through that, through that whole process. The 150 euros are, are the ones that, that are, you know, just get them to the next exposure and make that a group one. Don't don't spend too much time time and energy on one on ones with one fifty euros. Um, yeah, definitely. So well, There's that's a, that's a, a brilliant. Thing. Sorry. Because the one the one fifty euro guys still need sometimes four to six exposures. And <laughs> exactly. That must be a group. Loves my saying. You know what? You can't shoot the chickens because those chickens could hire eagles. Hundred <laughs> percent. They just windows. So, they windows. Just windows. Me. Yeah, they windows to your opportunity. But <laughs> but it's a brilliant, brilliant thing that you're saying there, and, and that is important. But all your 150 euros, they must be group meetings. Um, online. I only do online. Like, okay, I've got five or six, ten of you. All right, come online now. Let's do this. I'll take you through the process, and I show you where to sign up, and then you everyone's got the link, and they do that. I do all my 150 euros online, like this, quickly, um, and I do three or four of them at the same time. Can I ask a question then? One of the back to basics, would it be possible if we actually get a bit of education how to run a Zoom meeting so we can set it up so I can actually do that? Because that would say, come on, man. <laughs> okay. I'm BBC. M Mish, can you computers. please type in the YouTube? Okay. There's a YouTube video on how to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. I mean, that's fine. Oh, awesome. Listen, well I only saw, listen, you, it's funny, but I only saw my first computer when I was an adult. I was 23 when the first computer got to Nissan South Africa, <laughs> Burroughs 286. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's been, I've seen a lot of changes. Absolutely. Lots. Yeah, just, yeah. just cool. hop onto to YouTube. Awesome, guys. Brilliant. Great question, uh, Robert. And that's a, that's a good place to be in. It's because you're doing the work that you create the momentum. Um, and some people, for those of you, got five minutes left. For those of you who find what Robert has done overwhelming, then 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 all you do is is do the the um, thirty day challenge and flat out for thirty days. Absolutely, meaning I can't do it without Trello. I love my Trello. I do everything on my Trello. Um, but but then hit it for one week. Follow up. Hit it for another week. 
follow up. Or if you've got more stamina, then um, head it for a month, fill it up, and then work a month doing the follow-ups and taking people through the process. It's just your results are going to be different, but you can do it in those, those, those various different ways. You can work flat out for one month and then do the follow-ups and the nurturing the next month. And then all you're doing is you're going to still create quite a lot of wealth because what you're doing is helping your downline to put two people in. And if we know the, um, at the next training, we're going to talk about um, absolutely Trello is boss. I totally agree with that. I can't live without my Trello. But um, we're going to talk about the, um, which we had in Lifestyle Galaxy as well, and that was our core rank. And that is two, you put in two people and you help those two people get to two people. And that way you create massive, massive momentum in your business. Okay, so it's two to get two. Um, and then obviously beyond two for G as well. Awesome. All right, so, so, so if you feel overwhelmed and you don't want to go Robert's route, that's for a handful of people. It's for the, the off, off the chart um, A-type personalities, okay? <laughs> for the other ones, the off the chart down this side of the, the, the B-type personalities, you are horrified to hear, Robert. It's all good. Just, just go and do um, what, what you need to do to carry on your process. But you know what? Consistency is key. All right. Anybody else want to add anything, say anything? Guys, you have been super, super stars. I must say it's been phenomenal for me to, um, gosh, Gavin, that's Gavin Eastwood. Is it Eastwood? That's a really cool picture of you, dude. Um, okay. So guys, it was awesome doing this um, fortune in the follow-up just today by a very big network marketer. I was asked, what do you do to follow up? And I thought, you know what? I do so much that I thought, you know what? There's that saying that we need to teach deliberately what we do naturally. And so that's the reason why you got your topic late this evening. And um, I really think this has been a really good one. So even um, for me, yes, I'm part, <laughs> I'm still part time in Carrot Bars, Robert. Oh dear, you're going to exhaust these people. They're going to have nightmares tonight as they go to sleep. Okay, guys, two minutes. Anybody want to say anything? Are you all good? This is a great recording. I'm loving it. Next week, we'll continue with um, the types of conversations on how you're going to take a person into the next exposure so that you keep them interested all the time. Okay. Pleasure, Francois. God bless. Love you all. And um, don't forget, Mish, when's the next training? Is it the 23rd of November? Okay, guys, don't forget training in your local area, 23rd of November. And those of you going to GoPro, Please, please, please make sure we can have the most amazing time in GoPro. Um, it is the 10th anniversary of GoPro. It is going to be dynamic, shooting you out the blocks. And for those of you that are staying at home, please, 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 five times please, get a satellite link and get a group of people together and do the satellite link. Please don't miss the content because you want to be on the same page as the guys that get home um, with GoPro. Okay, Andrew, two and a half seconds. What was it like? Well, you and I did. You and I did with a couple of guys last year. We did satellite link um, on GoPro. How was that for us? Oh, that was brilliant. It was actually the, the nicest thing about it is that we could stop the video, have a chat about it. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we got different ideas from the group that was there. Uh, you know, it, it was awesome. And um, it was not going, look, I'm not going, and I'm definitely going to be doing it, that's for sure. Awesome. So, guys, you all know I'll send you Andrew's address to his house, and you can all go sleep over. He's got a big garden with a tent. You can bring your tent, yes, and you can sleep <laughs> over. <laughs> and they've got lots of showers, so you don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so awesome, guys. Bless you. Take care. Thanks so much for sharing. Mish, Thanks, Eugene. guys. Thanks, Mish. Thanks that was awesome out. tonight. Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks for helping me out, guys. <laughs>